It's the 5th of February, 2012, and you're watching me in my back garden at audiobook.com, stroke talk gold, and Sunday Business Post, the Sunday Times, with some fresh news, fresh four-degree weather outside here, starting with 50 years of front covers of the Sunday Times Magazine. I love looking at history through these through these covers. Worth a long read this week. Sunday Times Magazine, the anniversary of issue, issued some more than photos, some good outtakes of some stuff. Hey, before I forget, that's the Computer and Business Magazine. It's a Sunday, Time, a Sunday Business Post thing. Inside of it, Jack O'Brien writes some cool stuff, including a review of this phone here. A quick look at the Nokia Lumia 800. He says, not enough apps. But look at this, lads. Ha ha. Ha ha. I've got Angry Birds. And you could too. So, are there enough apps? Well, my point is, if you've got Angry Birds, and you've got the productivity apps I have in my pocket with this phone, you may not need a half a million apps like on other platforms. But... Horses for Courses. Front page, Sunday Business Post. Good stuff there about Ireland taking on Wales this afternoon. I'll be there, not in person, but watching the television. Inside, the, inside this newspaper, some stuff about a simplistic statutory instrument. John Gordon, a learned senior counsel, warns that the ill-advised path being taken by the junior minister, Sean Sherlock, might not be right. There's no clear and unambiguous obligation on Ireland's as the TD seems to think, to force Ireland to have to pay a fee to the industry, the recording industry. Sean, you're not watching, but I wish you'd take that on board. Dick O'Brien, the technology correspondent, profiles the three-dimensional characters. Aiden and Kevin Doolin have ideal binary. They've launched Ulysses on the iPad. Looking good. The biggest IPO ever is going to take place. Read The Economist. Front page cover story. Good stuff about Mark and his crowd. Uh, Bob was a betting man. I bet you'd find pinboards on Facebook shortly. Catherine Romani writes her new media diary, Getting Online on Time. She says, you know what? She can catch stuff on Twitter. You know what? Catherine, I'll bet you could do the same thing better with Google+. Plus. Follow, follow the right kind of uh, investigative journals with the thematic content, and you'd have stuff to make your current news even more compelling. Sunday Times. Front page story, Stephen O'Brien, political editor, says Ireland's wasting 700 million euro a year on job creation programs. He fingers 360 million going out to community employment schemes that do not do what they're supposed to do. They're charity, but they're valuable. This uniform fiscal pact suits nobody, writes the economist Konstantin Gertovev. Yes, I didn't know this. Finland and Malta were the only countries between 1990 and 2008 that complied with the fiscal austerity pacts. Germany and France didn't. How about that? Negative equity in Ireland. Two-thirds of mortgages are set to end up underwater as prices dive, says Niall Brady. Whoa. Dublin, heart of the Facebook web. Simon Duke says, you know what? Facebook's making money through the tax schemes, bringing money through, flushing it through Ireland, reducing their corporate tax obligation. We all knew that. Did you know this? Mark Paul says, free Wi-Fi for Dublin shoppers. It BitBuzz is trying to make a move. Um, basically, the, the small companies, the retailers would pay for the back end, but give away the front end. So you can walk by shop, get online, Wi-Fi. This is for you, Keith Bahana. Fledgling firms fly the nest. Sandra O'Connor writes the story. I'll shoot this. Keith Bahana says how he sets up his office, and uh, a lot of the stuff he's doing is in the cloud. Keith runs a training course called Think Productive, and knows how to cut corners efficiently while getting results. Rest of stuff in the Sunday Times. Well, I'm looking at this stuff. The price of failure. Jack Grimstone has the article, I'm going to do this. Set up ways on my curriculum where people just fall over and learn by failing instead of by getting gold stars. Good psychology behind it. Wimbledon is a place they put it to form, put it to use in the, in the UK. The true purpose of Dole was lost in translation. This is a running topic throughout the past week. The Indep or the uh, Times runs a story. The Independent ran it earlier, misquoting Magda, a Polish woman living in Donegal. Magda has a problem with the minimum wage in Ireland, even though it's at eight euro sixty-five, among the highest in Europe. It's just not worth it to go out and work. She says, learning a detail that the um, minister should follow. And finally, this is something I'm going to try to follow. Can I put my passport inside of this little wallet and keep the RFID snoops at bay? And can I put a phone inside of there and keep it from uh, going online and getting data when, I'm, when I don't want it to? Well, find out. Follow my blog, www.insideview.ie, and I'll have the story there.
I also have pictures here, flickr.com, so photo stroke Irish eyes to show you how my garden comes into bloom this spring. Bernie Gabach, top quote on Twitter saying, thanks for, thanks for listening. Bye for now.